What's hiding underneath things can be scary. Underwater, under your bed, especially what's under your carpet. Except when you get new carpet from Carpet One Floor and Home. After tearing up your old carpet, they'll vacuum and apply Healthinex antimicrobial to your subfloor, disinfecting and killing mold, mildew, and any remaining general awfulness. Carpet One Floor and Home goes the extra mile to protect you, your family, and your home. Carpet One Floor and Home in Columbia, making your home beautiful, guaranteed. Good morning and welcome to Radio Friends on Tuesday, January the 17th. A pleasure to have you with us in 2023. I remember that today. And I want to introduce you uh, to Dr. Chris Link. Good to have you here, doctor. It's great to be here in 2023. Yeah, really. You said 2023 too. Yes. We have to. We have to say Practice it over. Practice that. <laughs> exactly. When you sign the checks too. Mm-hmm. Um, Integrative Medicine Clinic in Jefferson City. And starting off the new year, you're going to have um, a uh, uh, upcoming health talk at the right. end of January. Right. But you want to pass along some good information about good health starting the new year. Absolutely. So this talk we're going to have, it's a virtual talk. It's going to be uh, through the clinic on the Integrative Medicine website uh, at 7 o'clock on January 31st. And we're going to talk about health and happiness in 2023. Health and happiness. Health and happiness go hand in hand. They do. Because if you're healthy, there's no reason why you shouldn't be happy. Yeah. And, And this time of year, you know, Paul, in the winter... With the light being less, yeah. we tend to have more mood-related issues. You know, in the summer, we see in the clinics, we see more sunburn and tick bites and those kind of things. In the winter, we see more colds, viruses, of course, and we see a lot more mood-related issues. Some depression, melancholy, uh, anxiety, and there's lots of things we can do about that. So in this talk, we're going to talk about the natural approaches. What can we can do to improve our health with exercise, colorful nutrition, meditation, Herbs and supplements, light therapy, which is amazing. Right. It, uh, it, breathing it, techniques. There's yeah. something called seasonal affective disorder. Is yeah. that right? There absolutely is, Paul. And there's about three percent, some, somewhere between two and three percent of our population have SAD or seasonal affective disorder, and that can be significantly improved with light. Uh, with a light box, they're about fifty or sixty dollars on Amazon. They need to have ten thousand lux. That's how bright it is, and you want about thirty minutes in the morning because when we turn on the light, it helps flood our brain with increased neurotransmitters like serotonin and dopamine and norepinephrine. It improves our mood and our alertness, and it helps us. You know, you can also go for a walk, and that's what I was doing before the show this morning. That was, I mean, there was sun out there, so I went for a walk for 10 minutes, relaxed me, got some exercise in, and a lot of the sunlight, and the sun is more like 100,000 lux. It's really good, and it comes from above, and that's hits the photoreceptors in our retina in such a way yeah. that improves our mood. And, and just being out in nature makes you feel better and when you're out in nature on a sunny day makes you feel great <laughs> because you're away from work no um <laughs> no but but that's true it i is find true. if i if i go outside if i'm feeling down if i go outside and i work in the garden work in the yard or just walk in the woods i feel better there's no question about that paul that the green space is so important for urban areas like Columbia. You know, we have the green spaces here, Stevens Park. We've got the wonderful quadrangle here at the university. Those make a difference in our health. We don't know exactly why, but they certainly do. Yeah. And then as far as um, our food, can that, that can affect our health also our, and our moods. It, it, amazingly so. And here's why. So we know that if you eat a colorful diet, get your five servings of vegetables and fruit in daily, you know, have some great oils like olive oil and things like that, good meats and fish, that, that lowers inflammation. And we know that inflammation now is a big cause of increased anxiety and mood-related disorders. We know that processed foods and fast foods, if you lessen those, you'll lower inflammation. And if you increase the colorful vegetables, Interestingly, fermented foods, Paul, lower inflammation in our body, lower anxiety in a recent study. Like sauerkraut. So, yeah. yeah, like sauerkraut. sauerkraut. We talked about that before. Yeah. Yeah. Um, and then exercise, too. Exercise also amazingly floods our system with these wonderful neurotransmitters, the dopamine and the, the norepinephrine that increases alertness and the serotonin that makes us relax. Uh, the one thing I wanted to mention also, chocolate. Isn't, isn't dark chocolate good for your heart? Dark chocolate has a lot of polyphenols, these these wonderful chemicals that lower inflammation, and they actually, these polyphenol, these big molecules that come from chocolate and tea and olive oil and things like that, it actually feeds the microbiome and makes for a healthier microbiome that is the bacteria in our gut. And the bacteria in our GI tract actually communicate with our system and can lower 
anxiety. You know, it, they secrete small molecules that are absorbed into our bloodstream that can go to our brain and make us more relaxed. And chocolate's one of those that has a great benefit on our microbiome. And by the way, the vegetables we talked about with all of its fiber, one of the big things that vegetables do in addition to their polyphenols is the fiber helps feed the healthy microbiome. And if we have that, we have less inflammation and more relaxation. There was a really cool study recently where they used fermented foods, uh, fermented dairy like kefirs and yogurt, and fermented vegetables. And the more a person ate over a month, the lower their anxiety score was. The, on wait, a, now repeat that again. So the more fermented foods like sauerkraut and kimchi and kombucha and whole fat kefir and, and yogurt, the more those a person ate over the month, the lower their GAD score, their general anxiety disorder score, their anxiety related symptoms went over that ne- over that month. So we want to feed our microbiome because it takes care of us, our mood, our health, our heart health, and many things. And you can have some chocolate because as you mentioned, it has great things for us that it's good for our health now, and our brain. Is it only dark chocolate or does milk chocolate work the same way? It turns out that, that milk chocolate also has some of those polyphenols. But the problem with milk chocolate, if it says 50% or 60% chocolate, it means it's 40% sugar. So as you get up to 80% chocolate, like a darker chocolate, has much less sugar, and that's better for us generally. Okay. Yeah. I was reading an article the other day about how important it is to stay hydrated. And by drinking enough water, we can uh, help delay the aging process. What do you know about that? Well, there's no question that drinking a lot of water is going to flush the system out. It also tends to make, you know, a lot of times when we're feeling like we're hungry, we're really thirsty. And instead of reaching for something in the fridge, you just, you know, fill yourself up with water. It's going to uh, help you feel better and maybe less, uh, you know, desireful to get go get something to eat. So yeah, you want to be well hydrated. I don't know that, I'm sure that's a part of good health. I don't know that it's necessarily going to add years to your life, but uh, maybe. It's certainly not it's harmful not for hurt you. you. Yeah. And the more water you drink, the better it is. It flushes your kidneys out. That's right. All right. So if people want uh, more information on your talk, it's coming up January 23rd. It'll be at 7 o'clock. January 31st. Uh, January 31st. January yeah. 31st, 7 o'clock. And, and they it, can go to the website, drchrislink.com. You'll probably have that on the screen, okay. drchrislink.com. Dr. Chris Link, D-R-C-H-R-I-S-L-I-N-K dot com. And then you can sign up for that? You can sign up for that. We'll give you an email the day before to let you know that it's going to be there. And we're going to talk about many things that help, can help improve mental and physical health naturally so that we can use medications if needed, but possibly less medications. for people. And, and it's free. And it's absolutely free, absolutely, w- for will sure. Will people be able to communicate with you? Will they be able to ask you questions? They will. They can do that in the chat box. And the other nice thing about it is that if they just can't make it at 7 o'clock on January 31st, we're going to have it recorded, and they'll be able to click a link on the days after that to listen to the lecture as well. Okay. So well, we that... want to get people off to a better start in 23, All healthier right. and happier. So mark it on your calendar. It is uh, January 31st, 7 o'clock. It's free. Uh, just go to D-R-C-H-R-I-S-L-I-N-K dot com. And uh, you can sign up for it and be a part of it. Dr. Chris Link, thank you so much for coming by. It's thank always you. a pleasure to chat with you. It certainly is. Thank you, Paul. Happy New Year to Happy you. Happy New Year.